Thank you to be here. And can you. you tell us uh, a bit more about uh, about your company, Soundhound, and how you deal with uh, sound uh, as an industry? Absolutely. Uh, sorry, my French is not very good, so hopefully this is okay. Um, my name is Kayvon. I'm one of the co-founders of uh, Soundhound Inc. Uh, our company is 12 years old. Uh, we have five offices in three countries. We are in US, Canada, and Japan. Uh, we are hoping to open offices this year in China and Europe, uh, hopefully Paris. Uh, we specialize in voice-enabled AI. So when we started the company more than 12 years ago, uh, we had the vision that voice AI will happen within our lifetime. So we talk to everything around us and they talk back to us. Uh, so we spent 10 to 12 years um, building the Houndify platform, which you see right now being displayed. Um, so we, uh, Houndify platform uh, is meant to provide all the technologies that other companies need to add voice AI to their product. So speech recognition, natural language understanding, knowledge graphs, artificial intelligence, and so on. So basically, let's say I manufacture a fridge, I need my fridge to speak, I come to you and you help me to build the, the I would say, speaking uh, layer on top of my fridge, right? Yeah, absolutely. And our mission is summarized in two words, Houndify everything. So we think every product can benefit from voice AI, whether it's a refrigerator or a car or a coffee machine or a mobile app and so on. Okay, and can you give us maybe one or two examples of brands you're working with? Uh, yeah, so we have, uh, uh, our platform actually has 60,000 uh, customers and we reach uh, about 300 million end users uh, through our own product or our partner's products. Uh, some of the examples include uh, Hyundai Motors that announced at CES that they are going to add voice AI in their cars. Um, we are working with 11 car makers um, and uh, unfortunately I can't announce their names until they announce it, but Hyundai Motors announced. And there are others like Nvidia, uh, Samsung, uh, Sharp, uh, Ankyo, and others that are using us. So I guess the advantage to develop with you is for them, for example, to keep the data uh, of their uh, uh, product uh, within the company? Uh, yeah, we have uh, two value propositions. Uh, one is uh, we provide voice AI under your brand. So, and that is a big problem. Uh, voice AI now is a very important topic, but there are very few providers of the core technology. Um, and most of the providers have this agenda to hijack your user and brand. So if you create a car, you know, if you're Hyundai Motors and you create a car and if you put Alexa in your car or Google in your car or Siri in your car, your user becomes the user of Amazon or Google or Apple. So you work so hard to create a brand and a product and then you give up your user and brand and data immediately. Uh, our platform allows you to um, keep your brand, keep your user, keep your data. So, um, and that's very attractive. Um, the other advantage we have is we promise a much better technology than Amazon and Google and Apple. And those two value propositions really help with the adoption of our platform. So you're saying it's because of 12 years of, of work, uh, your precision for voice is better? Yeah, so we, uh, I personally have been working on this for um, 18 years. Uh, when I started my PhD at Stanford uh, University and um, uh, we had uh, a particular vision of how to accomplish this. Uh, and we have, you know, I can tell you about some of our advantages. Um, what everybody else does, like Amazon, Google, Apple, uh, they do speech to text. So when you speak to a product that they power, speech becomes text, and then text becomes meaning. So it's two different steps. Uh, but our brain doesn't work that way. If you're listening to me right now, you're not doing speech to text, you're doing speech to meaning. So we thought that we need to combine speech recognition and language understanding into one technology. And that's something that, as far as I know, only we have been able to achieve. And it took us nine years to do it. Um, and that gives us much higher speed and much higher accuracy. So speed is better because understanding is done in real time as you're speaking instead of waiting at the end. Uh, accuracy is also better because in real time we can use the meaning to improve the accuracy of speech recognition. Uh, now, the other uh, advantage we have is we have a unique approach to AI uh, that allows us to understand more complex conversations. Now, if you think about it, 
we have complex conversation with each other, but when we talk to computers, we have a lower expectation, so we talk in short keywords. So I can say, show me Chinese restaurants, right? So those technologies don't understand the whole sentence. They understand keywords, like Chinese restaurant, they give you Chinese restaurants. Now ask any of those assistants, show me restaurants excluding Chinese. So you want any restaurant, but you don't want Chinese. They all give you Chinese restaurants. So they give you exactly what you do not want, right? But we have a new approach to AI and language understanding uh, that allows us to understand you know, arbitrary complex questions. I'm gonna uh, take a risk and give you a live demonstration. So I have um, our live product right now is called Hound. And I'm going to speak to it and ask a compli complicated question if that's okay. Show me Asian restaurants in San Francisco, excluding Chinese and Japanese, and only show the ones that have more than four stars and are open after 9 p.m. on Wednesdays. Here are several Asian restaurants with more than four stars in San Francisco that are open after 9 p.m. on Wednesdays, excluding Chinese restaurants, Japanese restaurants, or sushi bars. So nobody else can do this. So this is a very unique approach to language understanding that allows us to understand these complex questions. Now I can follow up, I can say, Sort by rating, then by price, then by distance. Remove Korean and Vietnamese and only show the ones that are good for kids and have a patio. Okay, showing five Asian restaurants sorted by rating, then sorted by lowest price, then sorted by distance that are kid friendly and have outdoor seating excluding Korean restaurants or Vietnamese restaurants. So as you can see, it's much more advanced than what you see in like Alexa or Google <laughs> and others. And, and you can ask multiple questions at the same time. So uh, I can say, Maybe what's the population of France? What about China? What about Germany? Or I can ask multiple questions like, what is the population and capital of Japan? I'll try again. What is the population and capital of Japan and China and their areas in square miles and square kilometers? And also tell me how many people live in India and what is the area code for Germany, France, and Italy? The population is 127,288,000 for Japan and 1,330,044,000 for China and the capital is Tokyo for Japan and Beijing for China. The area is 145,882 square miles and 377,834 square kilometers for Japan and 3,705,405 square miles and 9,597,008 square kilometers for China. The population of India is 1,173,108,018. The area code is 49 for Germany, 33 for France, and 39 for Italy. So that was a quick demonstration. Of okay, impressive. <laughs> <laughs> and maybe to, to conclude, uh, what is your vision for the few next years uh, for voice? Yeah, it's a really good question. So um, we, um, you know, last year was 2017, and 2007, so 10 years before that, was when iPhone came out, Android came out, and at that point, every company had to have a strategy in mobile. Whether you are a new company or an old company, you had to have a strategy. And the ones that uh, didn't move fast, I think they uh, lost a lot of value, they fell behind. And the ones that did move fast, they added a lot of value, and some of them added value from nothing. So a company called WhatsApp that was sold for $22 billion purely was made on the mobile ecosystem. Uh, I think right now is the decade of voice AI, and every company needs to have a strategy in voice AI. And if you are a fast adopter, you can create a lot of value, you can get ahead of your competitors, and if you don't move fast, there's an opportunity, there's a challenge to um, fall behind and lose value. Thanks so much, Kevin. Thank and you for uh, me. if you have any question, feel free uh, to ask him or his software. I don't know.